Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Big Down Guys Reviews. So, uh, really quick, I'm sorry that I've been gone for so long. Um, I've been busy with everything else going on lately, so I haven't really been able to do any reviews. And so, it, it's just been spiraling out you know, of control. And so, and since right now I decided to do a review of a movie that I actually just got done watching, like, two, three minutes ago, actually, or... Yes, um, a few minutes ago, um, I decided to do a review on it since I've only seen one of the char one of the main characters in this movie. It's a versus movie. Uh, another one that is in this movie I have not seen before, so this was kind of a good introduction. Um, and so the movie I'm going to be reviewing is Freddy versus Jason. Um, like like I said, I. I've only seen a couple of Jason movies. I've seen like two ever, um, and including Jason Goes to Hell, which I'll explain a little bit of that later. But I've never seen a Freddy movie. I've always, I've been curious about them lately, and so since on AMC, I decided to um, watch a Jason movie, and then I, I watched a couple of those. In fact, um, in a few hours from now, uh, I'll be recording. Um, like Friday the Thirteenth. I don't know if it's going to be the remake or the original. Um, on it on AMC, um, Fear Fest. So, but yeah. Um, af after I saw those two movies, I was like, this is a pretty sweet character. I mean, the movies aren't the best, but I mean, I was like, wow, these I I love them. So, I decided to. Well, my dad and I were actually just talking downstairs, and he was like. All right, playing Freddy versus Jason, you know, just completely out of the blue. I was like, "What? What?" And so then we just threw in the movie, and I, I was shocked at how good it was. I, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I was shocked at how good it was. Um, but it does have its bad parts. Um, or really quick, I'm going to explain some of the characters that uh, that I was able to tell from the movie, and like just some basic information that I've heard. Um. So, first, Jason, since I know a little bit more about him. So, Jason drowned when he was, like, really young. And, uh, I, I forget the name of... Ah, oh, sorry about that. I forget the name of it. Um, but, anyway, he drowned in a lake. And, and this is Jason, the guy with the hockey mask. He died in a lake, and, like... He, he drowned in a lake, and the first one that I ever saw was Jason 8, uh, Jason Takes Manhattan, and it showed him at the bottom of, of uh, the lake, and he was already dead, of course, and, like, these kids were on a boat, just two teens, uh, probably, probably, um, 19 or 20, you, you know, the, the typical kind of stuff, huh? like, just there were a couple and everything, and... Yeah, they weighed anchor, and then they actually hopped a line, and Jason was awakened. And so then he started to go around killing people. But so here's the basis of what I know about him. Um, he was the guy that would go around and killing anyone that came to the camp. So, um, yeah, that's his story. And um, Freddy is the guy that is on Elm Street that... Uh, goes into people's nightmares and kills them. Uh, I, I've never seen a Jason, uh, Freddy movie before this one, and that, that's practically all I know. Um, and yeah, uh, one thing that I love about this movie is that it's, and also I've heard about this with the other, um, like, uh, Freddy movies, that, uh, Freddy, like, adds a little bit of comedy into it um like when the first time that they ever fought which is probably one of the best fight scenes i've ever seen in a movie i, I was shocked at how good it was um like uh when they first fought they were in the dream world and um uh, so at, at the same time like uh uh freddy was able to like throw him around just like it was it's practically the same thing as the Force, except it's in a dream world, practically. Um, they, they never explain. I mean, he he's in control of your nightmares. 
Um, he was like throwing them around and it made like the ping ball machines or he would just do all these other jokes whenever he was about to kill someone or something like that or if they're in the gym world or in even the real world. So I, I love that. It, I, I love that he's a slasher villain but at the same time he is a comedian. It, or not really a comedian as much but I mean it, it just adds more flavor to it. You, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I've seen a couple movies with um like a killer but i mean I, i've never really seen very many slasher films i've only seen the jason movies that are slasher films well uh if you were talking about just horror then i have seen uh a alien predator as well but i mean like the that was the first like my first introduction into slasher films in general and um yeah i, I love this movie um but story-wise Story-wise, it sucked. Um, and I'm sorry to say that. Story-wise, it... The, the thing to watch about... The thing that you would love about this movie is... The fight scenes. That's practically it. Um, oh, and one more thing that you guys should know about Freddy. Um, if, like, let's say Freddy and you are attacking each other. Um, then you grab, like, uh, let's say Freddy's hat. That comes into the real, real world. So in order for um, Freddy to go and fight Jason in the real world, a girl had to go in there when they were fighting in the gym world uh, and then bring him out with her. So, yeah, that, that's basically it. It's, it's kind of confusing, but I mean, still, it's fun. Um, but yeah, the thing to watch about this one is a comedy in it and just, like, see how they killed people. Um, but story-wise, it is... I didn't like the story, um, but yeah, it, it was fun seeing them fighting each other all this time. I mean, Freddy gets all, like, pounded and pounded and everything, and I, and yeah, he's still able to survive. I'm like, wow, it, it's amazing, um, but yeah, that, I, I've never really seen very many slasher films, but dang, man, dang, mm -hmm. um. I, I love this movie, um, and the, their fights, I mean, they they really went into, not really in depth, but I mean, they explained some of the stuff in terms of, um, Jason's past, like, um, like how we drowned, and also, like, just all, all the other stuff, and with Freddy, they explained, like, um, and, and some of the other characters from the other movies, as, as far as I know, I haven't seen any uh, any Freddy movies, but I've seen reviews of it um, on YouTube. Um, yeah, James Nintendo Nerd, love yourself, man. Sorry. Um, but yeah, um, in terms of story-wise, it, it definitely stayed true to the original stuff. It explained for both, and... Yeah, I, I loved it. Um, I, I was shocked at how much I loved it. So, yeah, that that's basically all I can say about this movie. Um, but, of course, story-wise, uh, as a fan, I, I liked it. I really did. But as a critic, no. Um, the... Yeah, um... And, and while we're here, um, I'd like to talk a little bit about just Jason, since... I, I love the way that he kills people. I mean, he kills them in a variety of ways. You, you never stop watching the screen. You're like, how is he going to kill this person? The entire time. You you never know what's going to happen. Um, which, with Freddy, I mean, he kills them in comedic ways. That That's his thing. That's his thing. He goes into both the real world and the um, gym world. So, I, I love that. Another thing. They really brought in, like, the elements that they hate. Like, um, Jason, he drowned in a lake. So he and water don't really go along. He, let's just say, like, he is practically, yeah, it, if he goes into water while he's still, like, out and about, he'd probably go kaput. Um, in the dream world, they, um, there was water splashing all over him, and he was just in a trance you can say and he was weakened deeply and for Freddy in the real world he 
cannot be around fire. I mean, you can see the terror in him. And as a horror guy, he, like, as as a mass murderer, he, you, you can't really tell what he's afraid of. But, I mean, when he saw that fire, he was just, like, all of his victims in, in a trance. I mean, you could see the widening in his eyes. So I love that they did that. Um, I, I love the attention to detail in it. And... Yeah, that they, they mentioned all the other stuff that happened with um, with these two great slasher villains. Like, yeah, I I liked it. Um, but story wise, definitely brings the score down. Um, as a critic, as a reviewer, yeah, I would not give it any more than a three. Um. But as a fan, I, I'd probably give it a three stars. So, th this is what I say. Critic, probably about one and a half, two stars. Um, but as a fan of of these movies and finally getting a glimpse of them, three. Three stars. Um, so, just pick your poison practically. Um, so, yeah. And I, I haven't really thought about that with other movies. And... Another thing that I want to mention before we go, um, like, as you guys know, I love Alien Predator. I, I love that stuff. And Alien Predator, when those two came out, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I, in terms of, like, um, it's a fan of both series. But, I mean, this one brings it to a whole nother level, in, in my opinion. Um, for like, two very, very famous characters, um, but unfortunately, their movies haven't really been the biggest. But I, but I mean, yet the characters are some of the most some of the most famous ones. I mean, now, if you say Jason, you have to mention Freddy. Or if you have if you mention Freddy, you have to mention Jason. I mean, their names go hand in hand now. Um. So yeah, I, I love that. Um. And another thing that uh before we go um, the movie that I watched before this, which was actually, like, just right before this movie, um, like, in terms of the Jason movies, um, I saw this a couple days ago, Jason Goes to Hell, the final Friday, um, at the end, when he was being dragged down to hell, um, at, at the end of, at, at the end of the movie, it showed, um, Freddy's clawed hand just come right up, and then it was laughing and then dragging it back down. And after that, I was like, come on, I want to see that movie. But at the same time, I, I was so scared of seeing him. Uh, I was like, should I or should I not ask Dad? But then he just said, hey, let's watch it. I was like, okay. And I just put it in, and I was sitting down. I was like, oh, crap, oh, crap. What, what's going to happen now? Um. So, yeah, uh, I, I personally liked it. And uh, check it out. I have to say, check it out. Um, but if you are in it for the thrills, watch it. If you're not, then I I, I want to watch it unless it's just like, hey, it's a Friday night. Let let's just watch a slasher film or something. I, I don't know. Just watch it. Um, just only if you're in the mood for it, or if you are a fan uh, of either series. Uh, I I suggest this movie. So, yeah, and another thing, I prefer Jason over Freddy, but I mean, still, it's it's even, just, I love Jason a little bit more, so, yeah, it's, it, I, I love they let each character have equal screen time, um, at least towards the end. Freddy, though, all throughout the movie, has more of a presence, but I mean, you can tell that Jason is there the entire time so but yeah that's just me so yeah i hope you all enjoyed the review check out this movie if you want to and just have a great time and yeah i'll see you next week and also before i go happy halloween to everyone and yeah just have a happy halloween and see you next week